Hi everyone. I started out this morning making this video and now it's like this is the third time and I keep going over. So I'm sick of the sound of my voice so I'm going to go through this really quick. This is what's on my vanity and you know every month I do this which I'm a couple of weeks late this month. Um, I did it, I started out with mascara. I've done it with eyeshadow. It really helped me narrow down the eyeshadow I like. I did it with blush. It helped me to narrow down the blush that I like. And now it's lipstick. And it did take me longer than a month to do it because I had a lot to go through. But let me show you these are my Revlon, and I I am crazy about Revlon lipsticks. I like Revlon lipsticks. I like the Revlon lip butters. Um, I'm just trying to get them open here. Um, this is my only MAC lipstick that I have. It's Viva Glam 4. The only reason I bought this lipstick was because Tommy Stepp had done a video about the Viva Glam MAC AIDS Foundation. And this lipstick cost me $14.50. I found a coupon for free shipping, so that's all I had to pay for it. And $14.50 went to the MAC AIDS Foundation. Not... $13.80 or $12 something, but the full purchase price of $14.50 for any Viva Glam product goes to the MAC AIDS Foundation. And on Twitter the other day, they announced that they had hit $250 million that they have raised for that foundation. What that foundation does is they provide food, clothing, shelter education, medical care. They just do a lot. They do a lot for people afflicted with AIDS and they do a lot to help the families of people afflicted with AIDS. It's a great organization. I will buy more Viva Glam lipsticks. At the time I bought this lipstick I thought, you know, I because I was buying it online I didn't know if I was going to like the color or not, and I thought if I'll find somebody that will like it, and if worse comes to worse, I'll give it away or even just throw it away. But the, the, my $14.50 had gone to a good cause. That was my main concern. Okay, enough about that. This is Viva Glam 4, and I really do, I really do love this lipstick. You know, with my coloring, I do need, I need some color. I'm not one, I can't do uh, a nude lipstick. This is the Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pie. That's one of my favorites. This one is, um, I don't know why I even look at those without my glasses on, like I could read it. This one is Lollipop, and it's a real pretty pink. And Raspberry Pie, I love. This one is called Cotton Candy. I'm going to put it over here because this one is probably my least favorite. It's very light. And like I said, with my coloring, I do need some color on me. This is Vincent Longo. It's Eve Rose is the name of it. It's a very uh, kind of a melty, creamy formula. I'm trying, I'm just barely pushing on it because I don't want to break it. But I absolutely love this lipstick. It, it's one of my favorites. I'm going to put a little bit on. I 
it feels like a lip gloss almost but then it dries down and it just uh, I don't know I love it this one is a Lancome oh this is another it's a really light one and I just well that came out that looks really dark but it's um kind of an orange pulls kind of orange on me this one I love it's and it's a lighter lipstick it's called love it and it's from Lancome's new Rouge in Love line and this was a gift with purchase and I loved it so much I bought the full size one and then I thought why did I do that when I have this one which will last me forever so the full size one is on my blog sale um, I had never worn it I have this one Tarte and this is in uh, freeze I think <laughs> fever and I was surprised at how much I like this. This is a good color for me. I do like that one a lot. Um, I have this Kate Spade number 8. And this is a nude, but for me, there's enough color on there. It's a great, this is a great, uh, I know you're going to throw eggs at the screen. It's your lips but better color. That's what this Kate number 8. And it's by Rimmel. It's a cheap one. Um, from Revlon, this is Teak Rose. I love this one. I have the polish that matches. And you know, sometimes I get in those moods where I like to match my tips to my lips. This one is called Mink. I got this pop this lipstick after seeing Donna Shorts One wear it. I love it. This is my beloved Cherries in the Snow. I love that. It's a blue red. I have the lips or the polish to match. This one is called Fire and Ice. It's another Revlon polish or lipstick that was released in 1953. These two were released together. They're both described by Revlon as a blue-red. But you can see one is definitely more orange than the other. But this is a blue-based orange, and I can wear it. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I have my little minis. I kind of have a little mini collection started that I really love. I have my Dior. And this one is in uh, oh, Dior Fire, I think. Dior. I bought Jilly two of them. I bought her Firecracker and Fire, I think. Anyway, one of those. I got the mini. This is a Tarte mini in Moody which kind of uh, describes me on some days and that's a real pretty color I should put that one in my purse I have my beloved little Burberry this is in Cameo Rose and I love that one it's kind of a peachy color I have a Jane Iredell one in Madrid and I also have one in my purse, a Tokyo one from her. And these are a plumping lipstick. And then I have my Guerlain. And this, this one is uh, almost like a, like a lip gloss. It just goes on real shiny, real creamy. I love it. So those are the ones after six weeks of really like paying attention and concentrating on what I liked, what I didn't like. Those are the ones I really liked. The ones I don't like, 
is this Bare Minerals. It's a lip gloss. Pretty amazing is the name on it. It's kind of a purple. I don't know. It, it was a sample. I didn't care for it. This NYX, uh, they call it a round, I think. Lip Smacking Fun Color, and this is in the color Power. And you can see it's a real light pink. And me and really light pinks do not get along very good. It's kind of a Lori color. Lori would look great in that color. And the other one is this Chanel. It just breaks my heart. And this one is called... I bought this on a blog sale. It's called Evasion. And you can see it's just... And, I mean, it's very nude, but there's a lot of it is left, so I am going to add this to my blog sale. So if somebody loves that color and can't live without it, the same with this one, then it will be on my blog sale. And then the other thing I'm adding on my blog sale is this Vinique Polish. I bought this. I thought it was something else, but let me show you what it does. It's a, uh, I don't know what you call that, bar glitter, but like on this one, on the blue, it kind of looks pink, but then on the brown one, it kind of looks gold, so I am putting that on my blog sale, and I just want to really quick, I'm about ready to run out of time. I want to, I hope everybody understands. I have a page on my blog, Polish for Sale. That is new polish. That is not polish that I have used, got tired of, and then decided to sell it. I've worked out a deal with a distributor where I buy that polish. It's brand new, never been used. If for some reason it doesn't sell, it will go back to the distributor. So it's not the polish that is on my page. Polish for sale is brand new polish. It's never been used, never been swatched. The polish that I have for sale on my blog sale page, that's polish that I don't like. I've swatched it, whatever. Okay, just so we have that clear. And if anybody has any questions, just please let me know. Anyway, we got through it finally. I can't believe it. My hair looks like a mess. Looks like I went through a tornado. Anyway, oh, and did you see I, I found one of these little sideways cross necklaces. I really like it. I just wish the cross was a little bit smaller. Anyway, thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.